Hi, my beautiful Pisces. It's Jessica and it's Trusting True to Row. You guys, thank you guys so much for showing up, rocking with me, being steadfast with me, you guys. I love you guys and I thank you again for everything you do for this channel and everything you do for me. I love you. I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for all the donations, everyone for donating and being, you know, so kind and so generous when you really don't have to do that for me. Just know that I really appreciate that, you guys, okay? I really do. I know a lot of people are saying they don't want the, sh they don't want the shout out. Um, so, you know, if you don't want me to shout you out, please, when you donate, just say that. Just let me know and I won't uh, because I don't want to offend anyone or, you know, whatever. Uh, as I was recording this video, I don't know what happened. I had to... Uh, I had to get the charger, you guys, and I'm not sure what happened, honestly. The computer froze up, so I'm going to start back over, and I don't, I feel like this is a very important message, so um, I feel like some of you guys really need to hear this. I feel like this is going to be certain for certain Pisces, not all Pisces, and that's per that's perfectly okay, okay? Not every message is going to be intended for you. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Um, it, if it's, if, you know, you see another message that resonates with you, awesome, great. This is a timeless reading. All of my readings that I post for my Pisces, if I don't specify a time in my title, it is timeless. That means that it could be for anyone at any given time, okay? I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of friends, a lot of people in my life, a lot of loved ones. So sometimes these readings can resonate with people that we love, relationships, encounters. You just never know, okay? So don't try to be so specific and, and so, because that's not how tarot works. You know, you guys have to be kind of open to, you know, the message, open to receiving it. So just know that. Don't try to make anything fit that doesn't fit to your situation because then most of you come in the comment and it's a whole bunch of negativity if something is not going to the way that you would like for it to go. You know, half the time I can tell some of you guys will be talking about someone and it has shit nothing to do with the reading. And I'm thinking, I guarantee you that this is another connection in your life and not the person you think. And then all of a sudden, two weeks from now, two months from now, a month from now, whatever, you meet someone and you feel like, oh, this is exactly what was said. So just be mindful and open minded about the readings here. It's timeless. OK. <laughs> all right, you guys. So let's get into this reading. I've talked enough. The first card that came out was the Queen of Cups energy. So whoever this person is, Pisces, you could be dealing with another Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, emphasis on the Scorpio energy. Um, you could be dealing with someone, what did I get? I got a Leo, an Aries, or an Aquarius. Either way, this person... This person deeply still, whoever this person is, they deeply care for you. This person is very fond of you. And I kind of feel like, I don't know why I'm feeling this way. But when I was shuffling the cards, cards I kept hearing foul play, some type of foul play here. So I'm not sure what may have happened with you and this person or what is going to go down here. But in the past energy, this is somebody here who really had a lot of love and a lot of emotions and a lot of feelings for you, right? They care about you deeply. This could be your mother, your father, your lover, your husband. I don't care. Whoever it, it, it is sounding this resonates with, it will, you know, it will come out to you the way you need to hear it. But whoever this person is, you're heavily in their energy. You're the first card out, okay? They want to take a leap of faith here with you. They want to heal something here with you, okay? It is in regards to some type of foul play, injustice, um, maybe something that was a little biased. It may be a little imbalanced. The situation may be imbalanced here, but I do feel like whoever this person is, they are wanting to... I feel like they're kind of wanting to kind of release some type of emotions and feelings uh, that they have had for some time whether it was a couple of weeks, a couple of months, whatever. Um, they just really are wanting to heal something here with you, okay? But I do feel like there's they're not communicating or there may be some type of block communication here. Uh, you know, someone pride may be getting in the way is what it looks like here. So the Eight of Cups is this person really kind of not, you know, fully walking away from a situation here with you. Like, I get this energy that this that you may feel like, okay, this person is done with me. They don't want to talk to me. It's over. It's done. They don't care. They. I just want to let you know that whatever the situation, situation, I'm a situation, whatever the situation that happened, um, you, you are still greatly loved. You, you are still great. They still greatly care for you, still deeply care for you. And they still deeply care about the situation or what may have happened. 
I feel like right now they don't want to talk about the situation, this betrayal here. They may not want to talk about it. They may not want to really like confront it or deal with it. But I also do see that they also want to recover from something here. Okay. They do want to, they do want to come out of the cold here with you, but I feel like they have to take steps. They're taking steps because there was like, there was some things here that may have, um, really kind of jeopardized this connection or this relationship here. Uh, so I do feel like this person, yeah, I don't know for some of you guys, this could be like a mother energy, but I do feel like, yeah, this person here, they may, yeah, this could be your mother or your father or someone that you love. I'm not sure who this person could be, especially with this four of wands, queen of cups and the 10 of cups here in reverse. Okay. It could be a loved one. could be someone here that you have had a close relationship, marriage connection here with too. Um, but I do feel like they're, they're really having a hard time transitioning from this. So meaning they're not, they're not fully over something here. They're not over it. They can't move on from it. They can't walk away from this, uh, so easily while you may be kind of like, you may be, I get this carefree kind of type of attitude from you. You may have really like not really kind of like, it's like one of those things where you just are not really thinking about the situation like that. You may have put this in the, on the back burner in some way. You may feel like, Hey, you have other things here that needs taken care of other things that may need your energy, your love, um, your loving energy. And I feel like with the two of swords here, I do feel like this person may be wearing the blindfolds here. They may be being a stalemate here. They may be not holding back, not saying, expressing their emotions and feelings, but just know that just know that this person, they can't get over something here, okay? They feel emotionally distraught, emotionally disappointed, you know? They feel empty about a situation, and I do feel like they're really having a hard time just kind of walking away from you, yeah. And I feel like this nine of wands here is this person may be really kind of like standoffish here with you because you know, this has a lot to do with, they don't know if they should talk to you or not. They don't know if they should communicate. They don't know what they should say. They don't know. Yeah. I really feel like they don't. I feel like they feel burdened by the situation. You're dealing with somebody who's not sure what they should say. They're not sure what they should communicate, what they should say next to you. And they're being a stalemate. Okay. They're indecisive. If they want to communicate, send you a message, talk to you, they don't know what the hell to say. They don't know. They just feel like they're being very standoffish right now. They may also feel like they feel like Pisces that you may, I don't know what you do to this person, but I do feel like in the past, they may felt like they may have felt threatened or they may felt like threatened by something that you may have said. And it's not even that you threaten them. I just feel like Pisces, you're speaking from a place of emotions and feelings and you're definitely not holding back. You're definitely in tune with how you feel and you're not someone here who's going to sugarcoat something. And I feel like because you didn't sugarcoat something that you were feeling or that you felt about them, you said what you said. I feel like this right here really stumped them. Like it, it stumped them here. Yeah, they're stumped. And I feel like they may have took this kind of like, as they took this in a way as if you really did not care or you really didn't love them, but they know with this queen of cups here, they know for a fact that they love you. And I feel like you care about them too. You love them too. It's just that you're not going to, you're somebody here who's not going to kind of backtrack on what you feel or what you say. Yeah. They may have felt like this was a slap in the face to them. I feel like, yeah, they can't really, they can't really get over something here. And I feel like something here happened in the past where they felt really offended by something that you communicated. But I feel like it came straight from your heart or it came straight from your emotions or your feelings about them. And I feel like this is something where you didn't hold back or you're not going to hold back anymore. Like, no more Mr. Nice Guy, no more Mr. Nice Girl. You just said what you felt like you had to say. Tell me more in the present moment. Yeah, like I said, this could be like a mother energy. This could be your mother or your father. It could be um, an, uh, maybe a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Emphasis on Scorpio. So now we're getting in the present moment. So, yeah, okay. 
yeah Pisces you this is your energy too you may have came out as if you know what <laughs> feel like you just was like yeah this is like nature versus nurture type of energy <sighs> this could be a family member maybe this is not a family member you guys know who this is an aunt an auntie uh, i don't know an uncle maybe even your wife or your husband i'm not sure an ex a lover so in the present moment i do see with this queen of pentacles here that this person may be kind of still infuriated here is that the word infuriated yeah i think that's a word okay so this person may be still kind of furious with you in a way um, I still see that they're kind of furious in the present moment. Uh, yeah, and they're trying to detach from something here so that they're able to have this conversation with you or communication or have this new beginning here. You know, um, they may be trying to find clarity for themselves in regards to what they should do because this person does really want to take some type of risk here and come out of the cold here with you. But first they have to figure out what exactly, you know, what are they going to do? What are they, what are they going to say? I just feel like with this Queen of Pentacles here and this Knight of Wands, this person really goes back and forth um, on whether they want to just kind of like be through with you in a situation and just walk away from it or if they want to come back to the situation okay this person deeply cares for you yeah temperance in reverse you can be dealing with the sagittarius energy scorpio energy this person does deeply care for you i see there's a lot of love for you there's a deep um yeah a longing to love you a longing to um, have you around or be around you in some way but then there's another part another part of this person where they're just like they may not care to do something they're not fully invested or committed to it uh, to doing something here okay Hmm. I feel like temperance here with the Knight of Wands, yeah, this, again, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> you're dealing with somebody here who's just really trying to, um, they may be, I don't know, this could have to do with health, health issues too. Someone could be going through some type of health situation or health issues. Um, I feel like they may, this speaks of health. This may be someone's health and, um, I feel like this is someone trying to pour salt water on some type of wound here with you. And the Eight of Swords, I feel like they're really burdened and really trying to think positive about this. Um, but this is somebody here that something happened between you and them in the past. And they love you so much to the point where they can't just they can't just get up on and go on with their life like that. You know, and they're not even they feel wounded here. They feel really wounded. Um and they feel like they also have to protect themselves against you. Because, Pisces, I feel like you're someone here who can come off as very, you can come off as if you don't care. Like, you know, um, it's like, you know, what you get, like, whatever you give me is what I'm going to give you type of energy. You may have this energy about you where you're just like, you know, I'm not going to put my energy into something or someone, even though I love them. You're just you're not going to put any type of tangible energy into someone here, right? It's like almost like love you from a distance type of energy. And I feel like in the present moment here, this person feels that. They feel your presence. They may feel you. They feel your presence. They feel that you love them, but they also feel like you may not want to be around them too. They may feel this. And I do feel like, you know, this infuriates them in a way because they may feel like, You know, this is somebody here that maybe is trying to be like you. They're trying to show, exhibit that same type of uh, energy, but they can't. Because that's not them. That's not them. They're not that person. I feel like temperance here is just really this person really feeling like they have no peace in this. They have no peace. And they, they don't feel like they're at peace with this situation. They're not going to be at peace, I'm hearing, until they have this conversation or until they talk to you again. This is someone here who is feeling like they, they have no peace in the situation. This is really disappointing to them. And they can't just walk away from this situation here uh, like this, you know? They're not sure how long they'll be able to do it. Queen of Wands energy in reverse. 
Sagittarius, Aries, emphasis on Sagittarius, Leo here. Three little women. We have a lot of feminine energy here. There could be multiple women in this situation. Maybe even multiple men, but there's a lot of corns here. Okay. Oh, God. Now we have the King of Pentacles? Okay. Um... There's a pair here. So... There's, there's there's people, there's so many people involved in this situation already. I feel like this person has been maybe communicating or talking to other people about this situation here. <laughs> okay, I really feel like someone has been talking to so many people, different people about this situation on what to do. Do you think that this was right? Do you think what she did was right? Do you think what he did was right? Do you think it was wrong? How do you think this person should be punished? How do you think I should move? Blah, 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 blah. And I feel like there's so much mixed feelings and mixed emotions that this person is feeling here. And they're really not at peace because I feel like right now in the current moment, I feel like they're getting their... You know, there's one person that feels like, you know, telling them that maybe they should be angry with you. They, oh, you should be angry with Pisces. You shouldn't even deal with Pisces. If I was you, I wouldn't even talk to Pisces. Someone else maybe have a lighter approach on the matter. Someone else, it may be like, you know, it, it may infuriate that person that someone else is angry about the situation. To me, it just feels like this person may not be following their own voice or their own feeling, their own intuition, their own thoughts at this point. And then they're so in the near future, Six of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, so there is a King of Pentacles energy here. There's someone here, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Um, could be anyone here that may be... They may be a little more sane or a little more neutral in the situation, okay? But I, somebody around this person is a little more neutral about you or a little more neutral about the situation here. Um, but I do see that with the King of Pentacles here and the Queen and the uh, the Queen of Cups here. I feel like because you're taking this energy as the Queen of Pentacles energy, this could be a pair. This could be someone here too, as lovers or as a marriage or a couple or someone in your life too. You know, coming from that perspective, this person is really wanting to engage in a situation here with you is what it looks like. It looks like they go from many different changes here because like I said, their emotions are like fluctuating here and they really have no peace. And they're kind of like, you know, all over the place with their emotions and like hormones and their feelings, testosterone, estrogen. It's just like, whew, you know. They may go back and forth and in and out. One minute they're angry, the next minute they're like, okay, they care, they don't care. So I do feel like with this King of Pentacles, it's like they're getting to a place where they're saying that they want to um, prepare for something here with you. They may want to engage in something here, and it may have to do with the Six of Pentacles, some type of compromise. They may want to give to something here with you in the near future. So someone here is wanting to compromise. I also see that you may be in a position of compromising too, okay? Even though you're still kind of like, you you care, but like that Queen of Pentacles energy being in reverse is also you just like not willing to, um, you may be being selfish here with your heart, your love, and what, uh, your energy, you know, because you know that you're a loving person. So you're being, you're being selfish with your heart, with your emotions, even though it's open, but you're going to be selfish with how much you're willing to give to someone, how much time and energy you're willing to put in a situation. Okay. I do feel like whoever this person is though, they do want to come out of some type of drama here with you. They want to come out of some type of chaos here with you. Right. So I do feel like in the near future, I am seeing this person give to you. They're giving you some type of uh, they're giving you some type of energy or some type of time here of theirs. Yeah. They're making some type of room for you or 
yeah, they're wanting to compromise here. And I do see that they're doing something here right by you is what I can say. They're doing something right here. Yeah, seven of cups is in reverse. So there's someone willing to give. But I do feel like they're still kind of um, hesitant or confused. Not really confused. They're still kind of hesitant here um, in regards to if this is the right thing for them to do. Like, is it, should I, should I um, give uh, Pisces the benefit of the doubt? Should I give Pisces, uh, you know, my energy, my time? Should I even engage in compromising um, or finding an equal give and take here? But I do feel like they will be. They're going to definitely do this. There will be some type of interaction here with you and this person um, where they will be giving to a situation here with you, Okay. And I do feel like the Seven of Cups is also them feeling, you know, feeling unsure about the situation. But it's like they're trying to be hopeful. The devil here. Yeah. I feel like this person may still feel a bit of, they feel, they still have some type of illusions here in regards to you with the devil here. They may, because yeah, the Four of Pentacles. This is something really hard for this person to do when it comes to you. Like, you know, because... It's weird. They're almost like when you guys get to a place where they're coming to offer you something and compromise, they still feel kind of guarded and unsure about how much they should, you know, show you emotionally, how much they should give to you emotionally. Like they're still feeling discouraged here to be open or to show you their emotions and how much they care. So you're dealing with somebody here who's like, they're kind of creating these false illusions for themselves about you, you know, about you. They may be telling themselves that you don't care. You know, you don't care. Uh, you're only doing this because of this. You're only doing this because, you know, they feel like you may have some type of motive. And I feel like they're trying to figure out something about you. And I feel like it's a little obsessive at this point. You know, they're obsessing about something here, Pisces. About you. Tell me more. Yeah, the high priestess. Whoa, way too obsessive. This person is like very obsessive here, Pisces. They're obsessing and they're obsessing about, okay, do this person even love me? Do this person even care? Um, do you even want to be here? This person may not even really want to be here. Uh, you know, they may feel like, okay, like you may be doing this to gain something out of them. They're overly obsessing over this. They're putting way too much pressure on themselves. Um, <sighs> hmm, let me one more card here. Oh, goodness. Pisces. Oh, my God. This person think that you're, they may, they may, <laughs> they may think that you're doing something to them. Give me one card. This is too much for me. Oh, my God. It's too much for TV. See what I'm saying? Four cups. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this person may feel like you're doing something to them. They feel like you are. They're not sure about your intentions. Yeah. Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Devil. They may feel like, yeah, this person feels like... This person really feels like you are... Wow. And you know what's so crazy? There's somebody, this person, I see there's someone here who's like very intuitive, but you're intuitive too, but there's someone here who's really intuitive just like you. That's why I feel like you and this person, you and this person are a pair. So for some of you guys, you're going to know who this person is. If this is a lover or um, someone who you are involved with, you'll know you and this person are very much um, intuitive. So I feel like you're, you're very intuitive and they're very intuitive. <laughs> and because you guys both seem to be very intuitive, I feel like, honestly, I feel like you guys may really feel they this, like, this energy here is really kind of like, is a, is a very hesitant energy, like, 
do I really want to get involved? If they're not intuitive, they have someone in their life that's intuitive, just as intuitive as you. So someone's like, I'm not sure if I want to get involved uh, to a certain extent. You know, I'm not sure if I want to get my emotions caught up or my feelings caught up in the situation here with you. So they may be like missing an opportunity here to actually show you a lot of their emotions and feelings because someone is hesitant here because they feel there's some type of could be resentment, anger here that they feel and they may feel like why I don't I don't know why I don't get this energy that someone is doing this to you. I don't get this energy that someone's luring you in to do something negative to you. I feel like they're they're um they're heavily cautious because they feel like you may be doing this. But they don't know. They don't know for sure. They don't know for sure. And Pisces, I feel like you're not doing a damn thing to this person. I think you're over here living your life and not giving a crap. Yeah, you just, you're not, you love this person from a distance or you may really care about this person, but you're not putting your energy in this person. And this person, I don't know what the hell you did to this person. Maybe you threatened this person. Maybe you said something, but this, but this person is really unsure about you. <laughs> they feel like, okay, they feel like you're somebody here who does not make idle threats. And they are really kind of back and forth about what they believe about you. I feel like this is somebody here who doesn't know what to believe about you. You know, because they, in the present moment, there may be someone saying things and another person saying things and another person say, oh, you better watch out for Pisces. Oh, you know, when Pisces get like this, Pisces do this. Or, oh, you know, Pisces is involved in this. And, okay, but you shouldn't do this. I, I wouldn't go back around Pisces. So this person is just like, hell, for the moment, fuck it. I'm not even going to, like, even present, like, even, you know, you may be trying to open up to this person emotionally or you may, you know, put something out there and being sincere, but they may not be, they may be rejecting the offer right now because they don't really know what to believe or they don't know how to feel. Um, and I do feel like someone may be, like, you know, telling them something. Yo, this is crazy. So they're just kind of like, kind of like playing it safe right now here with you. They're going to play it safe here. That's what I'm hearing. This person is going to play it safe. They're going to be playing it safe here with you. Um, and I do feel like they're overly obsessing about something here in regards to you. And there's a lot of illusions here that they are. There's a lot of illusions here. And it's like clues. And they're trying to add things up and understand something, you know, about you and what someone is saying. Because they're really confused as to you know, what they need to pay attention to. So I'm really kind of getting this energy of pay attention to the red flags. And that's how they kind of feel. They feel like I'm getting this energy with that someone is saying pay attention or they're paying attention and they're like, you know, they're trying to lean on, they're trying, what, what gets me is they're trying to lean on their own understanding. Um, but right now they're going to be missing an opportunity because I feel like they're just not sure. They're just not sure. They're just not sure if you are a really good person or are you a really bad person. But you're really not a bad person. The Queen of Cups is you love strongly, you love with an open heart. But the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is you not taking any shit and not going to put your energy into someone else that's not going to do the same for you. Um, you may be focused on, you know, uh, businesses, jobs, you may be investing your money and putting your money at doing what you want to do with your energy and your time. But I do feel like with the Six of Pentacles, you're always willing to share and you're always willing to give, but you're not going to give as much as someone not giving, giving back to you. So that's the part that makes you seem unkind or selfish or arrogant, whatever they want to call it. But that's what I'm seeing, Pisces. Pisces, I, honestly, I really feel like this person is lacking some type of understanding here um, in regards to what they feel about you or what they think they know about you. They're really lacking some type of understanding about you. Um, and I don't really feel like it's what they even think it is. I feel like it's not that deep. I'm just getting that energy where it's not that deep. 
but they think something is deeper than what it is. They think something is more than what it is, and it makes them really kind of on ice or on the edge. And I do feel like because they lack this understanding that they may be trying to, with the Six of Pentacles, make something here right, maybe even balance something out, compromise, but at the same time, <laughs> they don't understand something. So they're choosing to connect you to they're, they're obsessing over something here and they're connecting you to something here bad, uh, meaning they may think you are um, doing something to them. They may think that they need to do something to you, <laughs> like for real. This person may feel like they need to do something to you uh, before something is done to them or something like that. They just kind of really just get this. It's just really crazy Pisces. That's what this devil and this high priestess here and them actually missing an opportunity here with you in regards to love and emotions or an offer of like renewal of love like do i really want to uh get this close to pisces because like this is someone feeding somebody with a long handle spoon and like you know it's just best that maybe you know i find a way to compromise this but also you know stay away and not put too much into this either i feel like this person is really trying to contemplate something here with the queen of wands and the death card they're trying to contemplate something you know i don't know who the fuck is telling them or giving them some type of advice and what they should do in regards to you but i feel like it's not the best advice here Someone's giving them some type of advice, and I don't know if they want to take it. I see in the near future. Someone's giving them some type of advice about you, and it's not really good advice. It's something very spiritual, like you should do this with Pisces. You should do this, and they're trying to give this. They're trying to tell this person something spiritually here. It's a. It's like a spiritual warfare. That's what this is. It's like this person feels some type of spiritual warfare here. Yeah, when it comes to you, and they're not sure. If they want to make this decision, take this decision here or take this route just yet. So they're not, they're avoiding, they're going to be avoiding this person. There's another person here that's really kind of like mean spirited, um, very angelic, you know, highly spiritual, highly intuitive, maybe into some type of like arts and magic. And I feel like they're they're not sure just yet. They may be kind of like putting that on pause. I do see eventually they will tell this person, no, I feel like maybe this person was pushing the issue. Like, yeah, you should do this to protect yourself. Or you should do this in regards to this person's energy. And so I do see that this person will finally not really give this person an answer. I'm seeing that they're going to cut the situation off, you know. Ooh. Okay, but I feel like the only reason that they did this is because there's someone else here who's neutral, who's being neutral about the situation. It's a neutral party here. So this person is really kind of like on edge, but they're trying to stay observant and they're trying to stay grounded here. Okay. Okay. What's the message that I need to get to? Pisces in regards to the situation. One card. <laughs> it is safe for you to love. Wow. This situation involves marriage. For some of you guys, you may be this may be someone you're married to. This may be someone they're married to, um, connected to, committed to. Uh, for some of you guys, yeah. The biggest thing here is this card here. It is safe for you to love. See, uh, open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. See, somebody here really wants to feel like it's safe here with you. They really want to feel like it's safe to do something, to come closer here to you, uh, maybe even to give you an opportunity again, to let you in again. This person really has an open heart for you. They have a soft spot in their heart for you, Pisces, and that's, yeah, that's basically the only way to explain this. This person really has a soft spot in their heart for you, um, but again, they could be taking advice of other people and feeling like they have to protect themselves and feeling like this may be this may be some type of spiritual warfare that they're feeling, some something inner here. It's like an inner, uh, yeah, inner war. It's, it's something on the inner that they're feeling, and um, the way that it's coming out maybe two other certain people here in this connection uh, or that you know you I feel like you know this person they know you everyone knows each other here and they're getting advice so yeah that's what I'm seeing here 
you're dealing with somebody who has a soft spot in your heart for you but then i feel like with this wedding card here do you see this man looking this woman looking at this man like i'm not sure if i trust you you know i'm not sure if the vows that we made is it strong enough here you know what i'm saying so yeah someone is not trusting the other person someone's not sure about the other person here okay in this situation